Okay. Hey y'all. If you recently watched some of my other videos, you know that I've been learning to code in Golang, and for a more recent project, I've been web scraping with Go. Um, so to do that, I've been using the Kali library, and today in this video, I'm going to show you all really quickly, you know, how you can get up and started web scraping with Golang using the Kali library. So let's get into it. So I'm going to start with my project already being created, and I already have Kali installed. If you don't have Kali installed and you don't have a project created, I'll leave links down in the description below to show you how you can get started with that. Um, but that's where I'm gonna start for this video. To get started with Kali, the first thing we have to do is create a collector. So I'm just gonna create the collector and then it's gonna be Kali.newCollector. And all right, so now we have our collector. Next, we need to add callbacks to our collector. The callbacks tell Kali what to do when certain things happen when we make requests. For the first callback, we're gonna call on error. Um, on error takes a callback function that um, takes a response which we are going to assign to the blank identifier and it also takes an error we're gonna call error in the body of our on error function we are just going to simply print out the error next we'll add the on response callback its callback function takes a callie response which we are gonna call um, R and in the body of this callback, we are going to print out the URL that we have requested. The final callback we're gonna add is called onHTML. onHTML takes two parameters. It takes a callback function, but it also takes a query parameter. This query parameter is what Kali will be looking for on the page and will scrape those elements if they exist. Um, for us, we're just gonna care about the H2 elements on this page, so our query is gonna be H2. Um, but you can get a lot more complex with this. And if you want to know like the full syntax of queries that you're able to do, I'm going to link go query down below in the description. That's what it uses here. So if it matches that query, this is what Kali would be able to see. Now we're just going to add our callback function to it. And our callback function takes a Kali HTML element. For the body of our callback function, we're just going to simply print out the text of the H2 elements that we were able to find on the page. Now that we have our callbacks, I'll explain what each of them do. On error, well, it occurs if there's any sort of error with the request. On response occurs after we get a response back from the URL we, we requested successfully. On HTML is triggered after on response if the response is in HTML text. And it also is called for each time that the query selector is matched. So in our case, we are picking H2 as our query selector. So every time that there is an h2 element found on the page that was scraped um, this function will run so it will run multiple times if there are multiple h2s it is also worth noting that these callbacks are called in an exact order on error will always be called before on response and on response will always be called before on html you are never going to have those out of that order there are other callbacks that are called if you want to know those, check the link in the description and it'll the documentation for Kali will fully explain. Now, the last thing we need to do is tell Kali which page we actually want to scrape. I'm going to scrape this page, um, the Golang Wikipedia page. And again, I'm going to scrape it based on all of the H2 elements um, that are on this page because there are several. So I'm going to copy this URL. And now we're going to come down back into our code and we're going to say we're going to call on our collector and we're going to call it the visit function. And um, you can kind of see, but we pass the URL string. And so this is the string of our URL that we want it to pass. Um, so now we are all good to go. We have all of our, we have all of our callbacks the way we need them. And we are telling Kali exactly which page we want to start on. Now that everything's written, let's run the code. So on the first line, we can see the URL we visited and that we can confirm was from our on response callback. It told us exactly which URL we visited successfully. And every line after that, we can see the text content of each H2 element that we saw from the Wikipedia page. Now, on error wasn't called here because we didn't have any sort of error. Um, but if I come down in here and let's say we'll delete the T's from HTTPS, uh, and if we tried to run the code again, we should see, and we try to run the code again, we should see some sort of error. And okay, we got an error. We couldn't get this URL unsupported protocol scheme HPS. That protocol scheme is not supported by Kali, so therefore it can't be found. There you go, that's the bare basics of web scraping with Kali and Golang. If you wanna learn some advanced uses of Kali or you wanna see the demo code that I have here, links for all of it in the description down below. If you found this video useful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really like the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with other coding stuff and things from me. All right, I'll see ya.